I, I actually don't know when she started using. Uh, I'm told by her that it started around 11 or 12, and it was alcohol. But leading up to that age, she it was really good at uh, all kinds of behavior, manipulative, uh, charming behavior. And so when she did start using, there was all this, she, very good at uh, hiding it. And so we really didn't know about it until she was selling marijuana. And it was stunning to us, and it really, and maybe it shouldn't have been, but over the course of the next couple of years, it, it really, uh, her drug use spiraled down. We got this growing sense of powerlessness and frustration because no matter what we tried to do to help her to stop or divert her into different behavior, it was never successful and it just continued to get worse and frustrated because trying to use law enforcement to help with significant uh, negative consequences doesn't help because as a minor, there's very little that they can do. She ended up in court-ordered rehab um, twice. She thought, well, if she um, volunteered into a program, that maybe they would go, uh, Hamilton County would go easy on her. So the reason she got into CAT, she got in as another way to manipulate the system. The beauty of CAT was, is that cat was not like the other program she'd already been in. So after she had been in the program for maybe a week or two, she let us know that she wanted out. She always, all her life has always danced around consequences. For her to actually have consequences that she can't dance around, she can't get out of, she's gonna have to deal with it, that's great. We thought that was wonderful. Her stepdad and I went to the family education program here. We'd been to others. And this here at CAT was unlike the others. And for us, it made a huge impact because we realized that even though we thought we were practicing tough love and putting out boundaries we, we, it wasn't enough. We were still enabling her. And only at this family education program, uh, when the counselor really challenged me, uh, I did it, literally almost hit me in the face. It's, I'm still doing it. I'm still enabling her. So from that lesson at Katz Family Education, from the lessons our daughter learned, um, consequences, uh, consequences here during the program, which she felt like was disrespectful to her, but it was exactly what she needed because nobody here believed her lies because they knew. Um, they knew how addict, addictive behavior is and they knew what to do with it. So I call Kat her final program, the best program, because I think it's the most effective and that's, that's the one I call the best. It's been a, a wonderful road since. She's now uh, gotten her four-year degree as a nurse. She's gotten awards. Um, she's working as a nurse for Children's Hospital. She's having her third child with her husband who's also in recovery. And it's just been great. Very grateful to Kat and, and proud very proud of my daughter and uh, her accomplishments are just amazing I think. Kat helped me by allowing my whole family to feel peace and uh, uh, hopefulness uh, and you know just a positive outlook on the future for all of us.